Hey everyone, this is Brittany with Redeemable Junk and I'm here today to show you a second part of how to do the Altered Book Junk Journal. Okay, so yesterday I did a video that showed how to tear the pages out and then glue them together to make your pages in the book. And now what I'm doing is I'm going through and I'm distressing all the edges and the centers. You don't have to do this. Now this is not something you have to do. It is something that I'm doing I'm distressing the edges and the center of the journal or of the pages so that when I go and I glue my pages on it has a antique rustic look to it okay so uh, or a vintage look rustic what am I saying vintage look we don't use that word rustic do we anyways um, see what I'm gonna do is after I do all this a lot of work is going into this is I'm going to go through and take different scrapbook pager, pages and glue them to the pages. I'm also going to use coffee stained pages. Um, I'm going to use music sheet pages. Just, oh, I'm so sorry about that. Let me turn my phone down. All different types of pages. I'm just going to use some plain pages um, to put on the pages of the book. And then after I do that and I give them all a background, I'm going to go through and embellish everything. I think the hardest part or the most time consuming part is inking all the edges and then gluing in all the pages. But after that, you pretty much have the base to your journal. So all you have to do is go through it and embellish it, add your pockets, add whatever you're wanting to add to it. So I'm going to do a few more pages on camera, and then I'm going to show you the journal that I started last night, the Ultra Book Journal that I started last night. I messed up on that one. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did a video, and I tore the pages out, and I didn't glue them together. And I really didn't like that look, and I talked to another lady who was making one of these, and um, her name is Kathy Leatherman. And she gave me the tip of gluing the pages together. And I thought, that's just genius. Why did I not think about that? And I didn't. Um, that way you don't see the torn parts in the center. So I redid the video. And it is up in my YouTube. Up on YouTube so you can view it. Now I'm going to finish this one real quick. Like I said, I'm not going for perfection. I'm just making it look a little rustic around the edges. I'll finish this in just a second. I'm going to show you guys what I started yesterday in the other altered book before I got the new one. So this is the one I started yesterday. And as you can see, I've glued some scrapbook pages, papers, to the two pages. And then over here, I was going to glue these down onto the pages. So all I was doing is I'm giving my page is a background and then I'll go back in and I'll embellish everything so I just wanted to show you guys that um, and I'm gonna do a video when I start embellishing everything um, and I might do a video when I start gluing some pages on also um, just to show you guys once I get a couple pages glued on what it's looking like um, I'm not real big on doing tutorials, the craft with me tutorials. Once I can start doing lives, I actually won't mind doing those. But right now I have to pre-record all of my videos and it seems like it just takes a long, long, long time to do those craft with me videos. I know some of them are hours long and I just, I get up whenever I craft. I got kids I have to take care of and I'm not just sitting in one setting crafting. So it's really hard to do the craft with me videos on longer, on bigger projects like a journal. Maybe if I get more subscribers and my YouTube channel grows larger, maybe I'll be able to start doing that. But right now, it's just, it's not in the cards for me as of right now. And as you can see, I'm going through this pretty quickly. I'm not putting a whole lot of thought into it. Okay, if you think about it too much, it will just take forever and you're never going to get your journal done. I know some of us are overthinkers. And you just really cannot be an overthinker when it comes to this, to junk journaling. Or you will spend months and months 
just trying to finish one journal. And I promise, if you just let go and let your creativity start to kick in, it will all turn out beautiful in the end. Like on some of these pages, I have little swirly marks. I'm not real worried about those. After I get my pages in, my background pages, if I don't like the look of it, I'll blend it together a little bit more. But as of right now, I really don't think that once I get my pages in, you're going to even be able to notice them. So I'm not spending a whole lot of time um, getting my distressing perfect. I'm just going with the flow, trying to hurry up and do it. I might just go ahead and finish this on camera with you guys since we're only at six minutes. Almost six minutes. I only got a few more pages to do. So I'll go ahead and finish this on camera with you guys. Like I said, I just, I rushed through it. I'm probably going to have to re-ink that ink pad when I'm done with this one though. This has got quite a bit of ink on it. I was gifted some a re-inking uh, bottle and oh my goodness I just love it to death because you can put as much ink as you want on your pads I love my pads to be really inked up there we go the last page I told you it don't take very long as long as you don't think too much about it I don't know if you guys have one of these or not but I got some at the Dollar Tree and I don't really like them whenever I am distressing like ephemera and such but they were excellent at getting in the corners of uh, this book. So if you have one, I would highly recommend using it just to get in the corners because it's pretty awesome. Now on this one, I'm just going to go around light-handed and ink it up. And then I also did the edges right there. And there we have it. So we have the base. Oh, we have the base of my journal done now have all my pages inked and I know it looks like a mess but I promise you it will start coming together once I start getting the pages put in so I'm going to start doing that now I'm going to start putting some pages in and um, once I get a couple pages filled up, I'll come back, I'll do a flip through, and I'll show you guys where I'm at. I haven't really decided on what I'm doing with the cover yet. I think that I might do a doily and fabric cover. That's what I'm thinking about doing, so that's just my thoughts right now. I'm not really sure, but I will record as I go along with this and show you guys what I'm doing. You guys have a wonderful day.